Hello YouTube, I am Langster and I'm going to be making Final Fantasy 15 dishes. The first one I'm going to be making is the chili con carne from Taka's Bar in Hammerhead and Ignis's version of the same dish called the Burley Bean Bowl. So on the left you can see the ingredients for Taka's version and on the right Ignis's version. Um, the ingredients in the middle are for both. I have only used half a chili pepper for each because I am currently ill. But if you like spice, then, you know, use one for each of them. Uh, the spices I put in a see-through glass jar thing apparently is for desserts, as my girlfriend said, but it doesn't really matter. You can see them, and it's there to contain the spices. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get to the cooking, shall we? First off, Taka's version, the chili con carne. So to start, we're cutting a red onion, taking off all the ends and the, you know, the rubbish parts which you don't really eat and dicing it up into small but not too small pieces. Alright, so we're going to put them away and get ready for the next one, which is garlic. So we'll crush them. Uh, before you say anything, I am using a butcher's knife, yes, but I'm used to using it and it's comfortable. I like it. Okay, so we're going to dice up the garlic. Pushing that aside, let's crush some peppers. These are going to be the sweet peppers in the dish. For these, we want to dice them up as well. Not too small, but small enough to you know, soften. taking out the sweet corn. The sweet corn is something I noticed in the dish on the picture. It might not actually be in there, but that's what I saw. We've got the chili peppers. I'm going to take out all the seeds and cut it up into thin little strips. After that's done, put the pot on, turn the heat up, not to the maximum. I'm using an electric, uh, but if you've got a gas one, don't put it to the highest. Pour in some oil, I chose olive oil because it's healthy. When the oil's hot, put in the red onions, start stirring. So you want to stir it until it becomes a bit translucent. Put in the garlic and the chili peppers. Give it a good stir. Okay, now put in the spices. Everything except for the marjoram or oregano if you don't have marjoram. As you can see, it's caramelizing a bit, so that's all good. Put in the beef. Don't forget to take out the paper. Right, make sure you uh, declump the beef. Add in some salt, add in some pepper. As you can notice, I put in a lot of salt. That's because you actually need quite a lot for this dish. Once the beef is browned, put in all the peppers, the sweet pepper. Um, I put it in at this kind of time because there's not many vegetables in this dish, so this is one of the main features. You want to be able to actually taste the flavor separately when you're eating it. Next, I put in the beef stock. Turn the heat down a bit, let it simmer. Put in some tinned tomatoes. I uh, did not buy the diced ones. In my mind, uh, Ignis does not have access to chopped up tomato pieces, so I thought whole tomatoes would be better. Now add in the marjoram or the oregano if you have the oregano. Give it a good stir again. Now add in some tomato paste. Uh, for this I added in two teaspoons worth of tomato paste. Stir that in and you can notice that the sauce is starting to thicken getting a bit red now, that's because of the tomatoes. Let it simmer for about 20 minutes, then add in the kidney beans. Next up is something I noticed on the picture of the food. It's sweet corn. So, add in a few handfuls of the sweet corn. Don't overdo it, otherwise the dish will become too sweet. All 
After stirring that in, you put in a piece of dark chocolate. Now this is important because you don't put in sugar in a, a, a traditional version of the chili con carne. You put in dark chocolate instead. Don't add in too much though, otherwise it will overpower the sauce. Now around this time, the sauce should be thickening, so top up with some water to ensure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. I added in quite a bit of Tabasco sauce here, just to give it the extra kick, but I'm not meant to because I'm actually ill. Now let that simmer for another 10 minutes, turn off the heat, let it rest for about 10 minutes to allow all the flavours to soak into the meat. Whilst that one is resting, I'm going to start on Ignis's version. Same kind of thing, but instead I put in white onion instead of red because I, I notice it's white things on the picture. Let that brown for about 4 minutes, add in the garlic and spices except for the marjoram. The same thing as we did with the tacos dish. Now let's stir that around, by now you can probably smell the flavours, add in the chilli as well. Now it's time to add in the sweet pepper, or in our case the red peppers. Give that a good stir and add in the carrots. Now these diced carrots are something I noticed on the picture, it wasn't in the ingredients list but it's definitely in there. Next we add in the beef and salt and pepper. Once the beef is browned, we add in some water and as we did before, the beef stock. The tin tomatoes, or the whole tomatoes, Lucian tomatoes in Ignis's uh, case, and the marjoram or oregano. Then we add in a bit more tomato paste than we did with the previous one, and for this one I added in 3 teaspoons. After giving that a good stir, add in a bit more salt for taste, and pepper. Let that simmer for about 20 minutes, then add in the red kidney beans, and some more water to top it off. Let that simmer for another 10 minutes, give it a good stir and you're done. Remember Ignis's version is a bit more watery, there's a bit more sauce. Hey, uh, so I've finished making them foods and I'm gonna try them out uh, one by one. First of all, what's it called? First of all, the flame roasted toast. Yeah. So when you first start the game, um, there's not much for you to do uh, except for follow the storyline. When I followed the storyline, I then managed to get into a cafe, and in that cafe, they sold chili con carne. Ta da! I've made it as close to the game as possible, so I'm gonna try that out now. Wish me luck, and uh, hopefully, I don't get food poisoning or anything along those lines. I don't know how they can eat a whole bowl of chili con carne like this without rice. There was no rice mentioned, right? Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. That is really delicious. Oh my lord. It's got a bit of a kick to it as well. So it's actually quite. So it's actually quite spicy, <clears throat> but I like it. That's good. Damn! After you eat the chili con carne, <clears throat> Ignis learns a new recipe, and that recipe is boom. The the 
burly bean bowl. So, for this one, the, the ingredients was a... So the ingredients was a chocolate bean, a Lucian tomato, and sweet peppers. So as you've seen in the cooking part of the video, I added the sweet pepper, um, I also added the tomatoes, which is a tin tomatoes, close enough. Um, and I also added, and I also added the kidney bean chocolate bean. So, you know, this one looks close enough, but I also noticed on the picture they had uh, carrots, so I added carrots in as well, and they had some white speckly things, so I added in white onion instead of red onion, which was for the other one. So let's give this one a try. This was definitely what you would expect from a campsite rather than a cafe. Uh, it's not been cooked as long. Uh, it's more watery as you can tell. The picture was more watery. And it's more red because there's more tomato in the sauce. And uh, what else? Oh, I didn't add Tabasco because Tabasco doesn't grow on trees. Hmm. It's a lot sweeter than the other one because of the added carrots. That's nice. It's really nice. Uh, with that, I finished uh, episode one of cooking Final Fantasy XV food. Yay! Personally, I really liked the chili con carne from. from Taco's Pit Stop, Hammerhead. Um, that one is definitely by far the tastiest. Uh, I added the addition of sweet corn because the picture of the food in the game had sweet corn. And uh, it also had purpley bits, which I took as red onions. So I added the red onions, which was delicious, I must say, that one. I cooked it for a bit longer, so the sauce was a bit thicker. It was a bit tasting, you know, a lot more meatier tasting. This one, the uh, burly bean bowl, it's, it's sweeter. It's, you know, cooked not for as long as, uh, as this one. Uh, the taste is there, but less intense. This one's definitely more intense, probably because of the Tabasco, but also probably because it's been cooked longer and the food's been resting a tiny bit longer, so the flavor's soaked in. Um, this one, I also added a bit more tomato paste because the picture was a bit more reddish. Um, and this one is slightly reddish, slightly more reddish than, than the other one, but it's, it's yeah. <laughs> and then obviously, the, yeah. Feel free to post what you want me to cook next from Final Fantasy XV. I've got some ideas already, but it'd be nice to have some input as well, get a bit of interaction going between me and you, the viewer. Um, yeah, so subscribe and watch out for more.